This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. If we're going to clone a virtual machine and customize the guest operating system for anything that's Windows Server 2008 and later or Windows Vista and later on the desktop side, then something called SysPrep that actually customizes the guest operating system is built in to the guest operating system. So we don't have to upload the SysPrep files to vCenter. If we're using an older operating system like Windows XP or Windows Server 2003 or Windows Server 2000, then we actually need to upload the SysPrep files to vCenter. Now if we're using vCenter on Windows, then the path we copy it to is right here. And then inside the SysPrep folder, there's another folder like 2K for Windows Server 2000, uh, XP for Windows XP, SVR 2003 for Windows Server 2003, and so on. So we need to just copy the SysPrep files to the directory for the appropriate uh, operating system. For example, if I wanted to uh, download Windows Server 2003 with Service Pack 2 SysPrep files, I can just download them from the Internet, and then I would just copy it to the appropriate directory within this SysPrep folder. Now I'm using uh, the vCenter appliance, so it's a little bit more difficult to copy the files. We actually need to go ahead and SSH to it first, and if we haven't, let's go ahead and go to administration. We need to enable SSH. So let's go to system configuration here. Let's go to our nodes, highlight our vCenter server. I currently have it enabled, but by default it's going to be disabled. So let's click on edit and we can just check the box to enable it and click OK. And then no, most likely the bash shell is also going to be disabled, so we need to enable that. So we actually need to SSH to it. I'm going to open up PuTTY and use it to SSH. It's just a free tool that you can download from the internet. Type in the address. We're going to log in as root and the password we set when we deployed our vCenter server for root. Now if this is the first time you're logging in, you're going to need to type in shell-set or dot set a space minus minus enabled true. And this will enable the shell. And then we're going to need to type in shell and hit enter and actually run the shell. So that will allow us to run the shell but we actually need to change the shell for the root user in order to use something called WinSCP to copy the files, the sysprep files, up to our vCenter appliance. To do that, we're going to type in chsh, a space minus s, in quotes, slash bin, slash bash, end quote, and root. So for the root user, we're changing the shell and hit enter. Now we can use another tool called WinSCP. I'll just double click on it. And we're going to change the protocol to SCP, secure copy, and type in our vCenter server, our root username and password, and hit enter. Let's click continue. And now on the left hand side, we've got our Windows machine that we're on. On our right hand side, we've got our vCenter server appliance. So we need to go to Etsy and then scroll down VMware-VPX, SysPrep, and then each one of these folders is where we're going to upload the specific version of SysPrep. So if I was doing Windows Server 2003, I would upload those files to this folder and that will allow me to customize the guest operating system if I'm cloning a Windows Server 2003 uh, virtual machine. But again, for anything Windows Server 2008 and after or Windows Vista and after, SysPrep's already built in so we don't have to do any of this for those later operating systems. We just have to do this for the older operating systems.